Hey everyone, it's Location Nerd. I'm a bona fide looky loo and a wonderful wanderer. Bars in Los Angeles have been closed for over one year now. I wanted to get out and take a look and see the state of one of my favorite things, tiki bars. So let's take a look. Our first stop takes us to the heart of Hollywood, to Lono, the new kid on the block, if you will. Opened in 2017, they offer food and beverages and an upscale atmosphere with a nod towards tradition. On a recent visit, the building was shuttered and had been recently vandalized. Hopefully they can get cleaned up and open again real soon. Now we head east on Hollywood Boulevard, passing many beautiful old theaters and landmarks as we head towards the Los Feliz area of town to probably one of the most famous tiki bars in the entire world. Yes, I am talking about Tiki Tea. Opened in 1961 by Ray Buen, Tiki Tea is a Los Angeles landmark and an absolute icon in tiki culture. Known for its strong drinks, the building has been well maintained the last year and I cannot wait for it to open again. Now let's head across town to North Hollywood to Tiki No. Opened in 2011 at the corner of Lancashire and Kling Street, Tiki No is the first bar that really turned me on to banana liqueur. Oh yeah. The building has been well maintained for the last year, and on my visit, there were signs of life, as apparently they plan to reopen soon. While not my favorite tiki bar, it is a nice place to get a good drink before going to a play at one of the many theaters in North Hollywood. Now speaking of favorite tiki bars, let's head four miles across town to the oldest tiki bar in Los Angeles, the Tonga Hut. Opened in 1958, the Tonga Hut has always been good to me. You can always get a table and it never takes too long to get a drink. This is the front of the bar, which is actually now the back of the bar. And this is the back of the bar, which is actually now the front of the bar. Got it? The Tonga Hut pours great drinks has great decor and a great ambiance. I love their winter marketplace and every Christmas time you can catch High Tide playing the Ventures Christmas album in its entirety. That's Marty Tippins. Hi Marty. And now for a few others. The Pacific Seas located in Clifton's in downtown Los Angeles opened in 2016. Now as a person who loves Clifton's and has been there many times, I'm sadly ashamed to say I've never been to the Tiki Bar. But I do plan on going as soon as it reopens. Trader Sam's, located near the Disneyland Hotel. Though it is often hard to get a seat in this bar, Trader Sam's is loaded with gimmicks. And boy, do I love gimmicks. While Disneyland hasn't officially reopened yet, hopefully Trader Sam's will be reopening soon. And last but not least is Damon's. Since 1937, they've been making what, in my opinion, are the best Mai Tais anywhere. They've got an incredible happy hour. Going to Damon's is like stepping back in time. Now Damon's, I'm sorry I have not visited you during lockdown. I've been waiting until I can dine in once again and have your delicious Mai Tais and your ground beef steak with the steak french fries well done. Damon's, I will see you soon and I cannot wait. Thank you for watching. Please follow me on Instagram at Location Nerd. And until we meet again, Okale Maluna. <laughs>